YouTubers, JNB here with another video. This video is a video suggested by one of our viewers, Terry Sherwood. Terry sent a message to B, my wife, and said that she would like to learn more about rainbow coins. And for those who know us, know that my wife loves rainbow coins. So when she saw that message, she stopped doing research for another video and without any delay, jumped on this one. This is also a giveaway video, so stay to the end. So let's start with a very common question. What is toning? Toning is a term that describes the discoloration or light patina that forms on the surface of coins due to oxygen and chemicals in the air acting on the metal. This oxidation can result in varieties and levels of toning and also depends on the properties of the metal. Toning gives its, this beautiful effect of colors on coins that in many examples look like a rainbow. And because of that, they are often called rainbow coins. It can look like a bullseye or colors can graduate from one side to the other. Rarely, the entire coin will be covered with just one color too. And sometimes just one side of the coin develops toning while the other side doesn't. Most often the toning on coins is not even, and we will explain that later. Rainbow toning or patina, another term used, is natural on metals such as silver, gold, copper, nickel, clad, and even brass. It can also be seen on coins that have been in contact with a sulfur source, which is a great oxidizer for a good many number of years. The rainbow toning brings nice premiums to all coins, but especially in high-grade uncirculated condition and are highly prized for their extreme beauty. Usually, as we said before, the toning on coins is not even because the sulfur source is not uniformly in contact with the coin. For example, in coin holders, old coin albums, cardboard boxes, or canvas bags, it depends on where they were stored. And this is one of the ways to recognize true toning. We will later cover artificial toning too, so you don't overpay for a coin, which at this point, if it's artificial, it would be worth most likely only the melt value of the coin. Now, going back to the process of toning, the thicker the oxide coating is, the darker the toning. The graduations of the oxide create light refraction that show the spectrums of color from black and dark blue for thick oxide and reds and golds for thin oxide. The same thing happened on bags of Morgan and Peace dollars that were stored for many years in government vaults. The canvas bags that they were in were strong sources of sulfur compounds. And the coins that were in contact with the bags also exhibit similar rainbow toning. And depending on how and where the coins were in the bags, the rainbow effect shows on them. Now, about the artificial toning. Some people are creating toning on coins for many reasons. One is to cover coin imperfections. Two, to get more money for the coin and fool people who don't know the difference. Either way, the forgers, so-called coin doctors, have been existent in existence for a long time. Artificial toning on coins is not a new concept. The act of applying an artificial patina to a coin is called recoloring and can be easily recognized if you know what to look for. Also, artificially toned coins are first often chemically stripped of all natural toning and gloss then treated with sulfur compounds or other chemicals and then heated. This results in a dull coin or one with a significant loss of luster. The main difference between artificial and natural toning is how the oxide and then the colors are distributed throughout the coin's surface. Artificial toning usually shows abrupt changes in colors versus the continuous graduations often seen on naturally toned coins 
just like in a rainbow. We're going to show you the pictures of natural tone coins and artificial tone coins, and you should easily see the difference. It's even easier to distinguish them when you see them in person. And here are some examples. Natural toning, and artificial toning. Now, how to care for them and, if necessary, clean them. Speaking of cleaning coins, we always say, don't clean your valuable coins. And we have videos about it. But with rainbow coins, you have to be even more careful because not only cleaning, but also just rubbing or polishing the coin will remove the toning. So imagine that you have a coin which has developed these beautiful colors for 20 years or more and just a slight mistake or wipe and now it's gone. So don't even try it. If you have dust on your coin, you can use a blow dryer or the aerosol sprayer like you use to, to, to blow dust off of electronics. But be careful with that one because if you shake the bottle, you could get the propellant blown onto your coin and then that'll ruin the coin as well. So the blow dryer is probably the safest bet. If you have a valuable but dirty rainbow coin, we very much recommend sending it out for professional cleaning. The next question that Terry has is how to care, keep, and protect your tone coin. The answer is, it depends on how pleased you are with the patina, the toning on your coin as it exists. If you like it a lot, put it in a protective capsule. If you want your coin to get more color, put it in a paper flip, for example. No matter what you decide, decide to do, avoid PVC flips or holders. They will destroy your coin over time. If they're in two by twos, you can place them in a coin box or in pages of a binder. Next, very important, store them in a dry, clean area of relatively uniform temperature and humidity. It doesn't swing wildly over the course of the year. Obviously avoid, avoid places that may have or might develop mold. If you keep your coins in a safe, don't forget to place a bag or jar of silica gel that can absorb and hold the moisture. Or some safes also have commercially available from the manufacturers electric dehumidifiers that you can now plug into the safe and it too will suck the, the moisture out of the safe and keep your coins dry. And Terry's last question and the last topic we want to cover here is how to display them. Well, many options, of course, depending on how much money you're willing to spend and how visible you want them to be, you know, when you display them. But probably the most impressive will be a wooden presentation box or coin cases for quadrums. If you put them in quadrum holders, a quadrum is a type of holder. We have those on our website as well if you have questions or have never seen a quadrum. By the way, we have all of those storage supplies, boxes, holders, folders, mahogany presentation cases, individual coin stands, quadrums, and much, much more on our website store. The link to the website is below every video. Some people actually have gone to the trouble of having custom made display drawers or enclosed glass shelves for the display of their beautiful coins. Again, it truly depends on someone's budget. So we hope we answered Terry's questions. Rainbow coins are truly a piece of art in any stage of their development. And even watching them developing more color over time is an awesome experience. Taking pictures of them is a good idea too, so you can compare them later my wife also puts dates on the paper flips they're in. And now about the giveaway. In this video, we will give away 
toned 1906 Barber Dime. All you need to do is be our subscriber. We will check that. And leave a comment below this video in the comments section letting us know why you would like to have this coin. We will pick the winner live during our live stream on Saturday, March 30th, which begins at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. More information about that below this video. Good luck to all, and of course, enter. So, we hope you liked this video, found it helpful, and if you did, please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you again to Terry Sherwood for suggesting this fascinating topic. And if anyone would like to see a video about some specific topic, please send an email to B. Thank you to everybody for watching, and until next time, J&B, signing out.